Hare Krishna. Our belief system doesn't just shape our perception of reality. It becomes our reality. For all of us, whatever we perceive, whatever we believe, that affects us significantly. How significantly? That is something which we don't really think about seriously. For example, if we believe that wealth is the most important thing in life, then we start pursuing wealth indiscriminately and then what happens is that we start seeing everything in monetary terms and anything that doesn't have monetary value we start thinking it doesn't have any value at all so our belief system doesn't just shape our perception of reality that means we don't just see if we well, if we believe that money is the source of happiness and success and uh, uh, and meaning in life then we not only keep seeing money but actually money becomes our reality and this the Bhagavad Gita says happens not just in the course of this life but even in an even more consequential way at the end of this life basically what accord, accord if we believe something to be valuable nature reciprocates externally and internally by showing us that more and more and at the end of our life nature will facilitate that by taking us where uh, to a place where we can get what we value the most so krishna says in the bhagavad gita in 86 yam yam va pismaran bhavam tejatyanta kalevaram tam tam evaiti kaunteya sada tad bhava bhavitaham so, whatever we remember in the time of death, yam yam va pismaran bhavam, tijatyante kalevaram, at the time of death, if we remember it, tam tam evaiti kaunteya, we will attain that. Sada tad bhava bhavitaha, tad bhava bhavitaha, whatever is our disposition, so will be our destination. This indicates that now disposition refers to our belief system. What we believe to be valuable, what we are most attached to, that we will attain. Now, this means that we need to align our belief system with reality. If we learn to believe to be valuable, that which is actually valuable, then we will attain the supreme reality. And that is what the previous and the subsequent verses tell us that if we remember Krishna at the time of death, we will attain him. And therefore, we should remember him constantly. So, uh, by understanding how consequential our belief system is, and everybody has a belief system, even atheists have a belief system centered on the idea that this world is the only reality and there is no higher reality beyond it. So by understanding how consequential our belief system is, belief system is not just what we claim to believe in, it is what we actively pers pursue in our life based on our belief system. Then we need to examine and realign our belief system with reality. And the Bhagavad Gita stands ready to help us in such realignment and thereby in attaining the destination of the supreme value of the ultimate reality. Thank you. Hare Krishna.